Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to solve problems or fun problems involving infinite radicals like the square root of 2 times the square root of everything that's inside times 2 times the square root of everything that's inside times 2 times the square root of everything that's inside times 2 times the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely so many times or the square root of 3 times the square root of everything that's inside times 3 times the square root of everything that's inside also repeated infinitely so many times or the square root of 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside times 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside times 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside and so on and so forth or another the square root of 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside times 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely also so many times so please stay tuned before we rationalize the solution let me show you that the square root of 2 times the square root of everything that's inside times 2 times uh, the square root of everything that's inside times 2 repeated infinitely many times is equal to 2. Same true if we uh, extract the square root of 3 times the square root of everything that's inside times 3 times the square root of everything that's inside times 3 times the square root of everything that's inside times 3 repeated infinitely many times is 3. And also the square root of 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside times 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely many times is equal to 3. And lastly, the square root of 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside times 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside also repeated infinitely many times is just equal to 5. And now here is the formula for case 1. For any number, say a, the square root of a times the square root of everything that's inside times the square root of a or times a times the square root of everything that's inside is simply a. So therefore, if you have other numbers like the square root of 4 times the square root of everything that's inside times 4 times the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely many times, that is just 4. And same true with the square root of 7 times the square root of everything that's inside times 7 times the square root of everything that's inside is just as simple as 7 or the square root of 100 times the square root of everything that's inside times 100 repeated infinitely many times is just 100 and now here's the proof so if we let x be equal to the square root of a times the square root of everything that's inside times a times the square root of everything that's inside times a times the square root of everything that's inside times a then repeated infinitely many times then we have x equals the square root of a x why because if this is also x that is x therefore 
we just replace a times our square root of a times uh, the square root of everything that's inside as x here right now continuing since uh, we have to eliminate the radical on the right side of the equation we have to square each side of the equation so therefore at the right side or left side it becomes x square and at the right side it becomes the square root of ax quantity squared and since uh, square root and square are opposites then they will cancel each other out then we have x square equals ax and we have formed a quadratic equation which is in the form x square minus ax equals zero and it is solvable by factoring since each term has a common factor which is x at x square and at ax they have a common factor which is x then factor out x and the remaining factor inside the parenthesis now will be x minus a and by zero product property then we can say that x equals zero and x equals a now if we consider x equals zero then the answer here at the square root of a times the square root of everything that's inside times the square root of a equals zero, which is impossible. So this is invalid. It's invalid. And x equals a will be the valid answer. So therefore, for anything that's uh, uh, subjected to the square root of a times the square root of everything that's inside times a and so on and so forth then the answer is just this and now here is the formula for the second case for the square root of everything that's inside times n plus the square root of everything that's inside times n plus the square root of everything that's inside times n repeated infinitely many times then it's just as simple as 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 4n all over 2, which is uh, just coined from the quadratic formula. So therefore, if you have the square root of 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside times 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside times 6 plus the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely many times then it is just as simple as 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 4 times n which is in this case that is 6 all over 2 and it's uh, 1 plus 20, square root of 25 all over 2 because 1 plus uh, 24 which is 4 times 6 is 24 is 25 so square root of 25 will be 5 so by simplifying uh, rewriting 1 so 1 here plus square root of 25 is 5 plus 2 but 1 plus 5 is 6 so 6 over 2 is 3 so the answer here is 3 and let me show you other examples for square root of 12 plus the square root of everything that's inside times 12 plus the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely then it's as simple as 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 4 times 12 all over 2 so continuing the process we have 1 plus the square root of 49 because 4 times 12 is 48 plus 1 is 49 so square root of 49 all over 2 and uh, to continue then square root of 49 is 7 so 1 plus 7 is 
8 all over 2 is 4. And now here is the proof of the previous formula. If we let x equals the square root of everything that's inside times n plus the square root of everything that's inside times n plus the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely, then we have x equals the square root of n plus x because this is also x. So we replace that part by x. And again, squaring both sides of the equation to eliminate the radical sign, then we have x squared equals quantity the square root of n plus x. So since uh, again, square root and square are opposites, they cancel each other out. So we have x squared equals n plus x. And forming a standard form of a quadratic equation, then we have x squared minus x minus n equals 0. And continuing, oops, we have to delete that part. So x equals, uh, by quadratic formula, by the way, quadratic formula, so x equals negative of negative 1, because in our linear term here, b is negative 1. So uh, we replace it here. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. In this case, negative 1. Quantity squared minus 4. And a is 1. And c is negative n. All over 2a. But again, a is 1. The numerical coefficient of x squared. Then, continue. So negative times negative 1 becomes positive 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 quantity squared so it becomes positive now plus 4n from here negative 4 times 1 times negative n becomes positive 4n all over 2 so therefore we have the formula 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4n all over 2. We disregard negative part, the negative part, which is negative here, because it will become invalid if we are going to consider it. And how about this? The square root of everything that's inside times 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside times 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside repeated infinitely, then this is just as simple as the previous ones. Well, we just have to let x be equal to square root of everything that's inside times 5 plus 4 times the square root of everything that's inside times 5 plus 4 repeated infinitely many times and continuing then since uh, our expression is equal now to x then we can also consider this as x so we replace that infinite radical with x and since it is x equals the square root of 5 plus 4x, then we have to eliminate the radical by squaring both sides of the equation. So we have x squared equals quantity the square root of 5 plus 4x quantity squared. And eliminating the square and the square root, so we have uh, x squared equals 5 plus 4x which is to be transformed into the standard form of a quadratic equation. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 because everything at the right side of the equation should be transposed to the left side of the equation. And the remaining term becomes 0 
only and we have to use factoring to find the roots of this quadratic equation and the factors are x minus 5 and x plus 1 equals 0 and by zero product property to find the roots of this quadratic equation then we have x equals 5 from here x equals 5 and x equals negative 1 but obviously we cannot use negative 1 as the value of this expression because it's invalid because the radicands or the numbers inside the radical are all positive so it is impossible that the value of this whole expression is negative so the only answer is 5